Hello, my bat sound friends and my sexy little pie kitties. I'm having with here with me is Lincoln. You can see his head a little bit. But I'm back with more sanitarium on the Android iOS version. Where the last left off, it was uh, Innocent Abandoned, which I do enjoy that chapter. Now we're in the courtyard and chapel. And uh, we're going to meet some interesting characters here. <laughs> so let's get started. <clears throat> There's a character with bare feet, apparently. So let's go ahead and interact with him. Is he wearing big bare feet slippers? Yes. Let's talk to him. Excuse me, what's your name? Are you serious, man? I'm the king. Oh great, we got we got an Elvis impersonator. King of what? King of rock and roll, man. I'm Elvis. <laughs> Yeah, right. Thank you very much. Music. Where is that awful music coming from? I wish I knew, man. That stuff is for the birds. For the birds, huh? I don't think that's convincing enough. Um, okay. Do you know anything about the other patients? They ain't patients. These are my fans, man. Let me tell you. It's the best fans in the world. I'll see you later, Elvis impersonator. Anyway. Let's meet these characters. Who's this guy? Nice too, too <laughs> All right. Excuse me. Oh. What's your name? Skippy. Skippy. Where is that awful music coming from? I don't know. You hip. <laughs> Well, he's not wrong. <laughs> I kind of look like a mummy, but he can call me a Q-tip, but okay. Do you know anything about the other patients? Do you know anything about the other patients? <laughs> Very funny, old man. Very funny, old man. <laughs> he's cuckoo. But anyway, that was short. <laughs> All right. Oh, God, this guy. I hope not. Excuse me, what's your name? Dan Dombrowski, don't forget it. So he's Russian, eh? It has the last name Kazovsky. I'm I imagine he's Russian. Uh where? Where am I? The courtyard. Same. I'm not crazy. I shouldn't be here. Shut up before I found you one. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Where is that awful music coming from? Doc's doing some kind of test in the observation room. Oh? What kind of test? How should I know, maggot? Hmm? I know this would sound nuts. It was just in this weird little town where a huge alien plant killed all the adults, but not the kids. Ah, shut up! Ah, uh, he's such a jerk. Ass. Anyway. Huh? Might as well say hi to this one. Hello. Not a friendly looking guy at all. Eh, yeah, maybe. Let's talk to him. Excuse me, what's your name? Why do you damn moons always get <laughs> so damn much? Christ. It's Hector. Hector Vasquez. Hector. Goddamn mummy. <laughs> Again, he's not wrong. Where am I? Where do you think? The asylum, you nut job. <laughs> uh, not that aggressive as the last one. Why is my head all wrapped up like this? Because you're so freaking ugly, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Man, I'm with you. you. see what the little green man can do. Ah, uh, forget it, you jerk. Yeah. 
I'm not crazy. I shouldn't be here. Hey, don't go ahead, Pipe Psycho. That act won't get you anywhere with me. <laughs> Where is that awful music coming from? You mean you don't see the orchestra full of pink elephants? Very funny. I guess you lost your sense of humor when you lost your marbles. <laughs> um, yeah, that might be the cause of it. Yeah, he is a goddamn jerk, isn't he? Anyway, hopefully it's more positive. The Orleys. Wait. That guy has a fish on his hand. That's actually pretty hilarious. He looks way too attached to that fish. <laughs> Even my cat Lincoln would like a fish. Wouldn't you, Lincoln? Hmm? Anyway. <sighs> <laughs> you think she's a pirate? Yarg! Where is that awful music coming from? <clears throat> Quit talking to me. I need to sleep off me hangover from shore. <laughs> Whatever, Pirate Bob. Whatever. Okay, hopefully this is more social here for this orderly here. Wonder what's on his mind. Okay. Oh. Don't you no, I'm sorry. Where am I? The asylum, of course. In the courtyard. We had to evacuate the tower cells because of the explosion. At least he's more positive and not aggressive. Explosion? What explosion? The generator. It was supposed to be repaired this week. I guess they were a little too late. Oh, what about all the patients up there? I'm afraid you were the only one who survived, my friend. Survive. I'm the only survivor? God! Mm. How many people died up there? I'd say 15 or so. The fire spread quickly after the second explosion. Then there was no way to reach them in time. How did you manage to escape? If I told you, you'd think I'm really insane. Try me. I'd like to know how you survived this disaster. I know this would sound nuts. I was just in this weird little town where a huge alien killed all the adults, but not the kids. I see. Ah, you must think I'm as loony as the others. No, that's not <laughs> it. I have my own theory on what could have happened to you. I'm not crazy. I shouldn't be here. That's a familiar story around here, my friend. <laughs> okay. Where is that awful music coming from? Dr. Morgan is testing a few theories on how music affects the patients. He's conducting his research in the observation room. Ah, uh, that explains why. <laughs> For the birds of my ass. Uh, theory. What's your theory? Well, I think that maybe your mind couldn't handle the thought of you abandoning those who need help, so you constructed a world to hide it inside your mind until it was safe to come back. The town represented the town, the children, the patients, and the missing adults represented the doctors and other authority figures who weren't around to help. Huh, maybe you're right, but it all seemed so real. Your mind is capable of wondrous things, Max. In your head, it was real. Well, at least he's, he was positive. Anyway, what about this guy here? Hello. Quite a big fellow. He's the same as like the rest of them. How is he big? All right. Same as it was yesterday and the day before that. I'm Bruce. Bruce Chambers, remember? Mm. Man, that wreck must have really rattled your brain. A car wreck? Yeah. Now it's coming together. Wasn't the brightest thing you've ever done. Now your face is all messed up and you can't remember squat. See, that explains why in the beginning of the game. So. Where am I? You've been here before, don't you remember? No, this place isn't familiar at all. It's the courtyard, Max. You like it here. <laughs> I'm not crazy. I shouldn't be here. Now just calm down. Calm down. But I'm not 
crazy. Sure, you're not Max Sure. He doesn't believe me, does he? Where is that awful music coming from? Oh, the observation. Dr. Morgan said that you were doing some auditory experiments. Whatever that means. Town. You mean you believe me? No, I mean it sounds nuts. Just take your pill, Max, and you'll feel better. Still, he doesn't believe me. Whatever. At least he was positive like the last one. Anyway, let's talk to this mysterious person here. Uh, uh, there we go. How sad she looks. Yeah, it's a she. Hello. Are you in that cloak? Doctor? Are you my doctor? Oh, that voice, though. Oh. Oh, cutscene. I've already managed to assemble a team of top researchers for this, but I'm especially glad that you finally decided to accept my offer. Hmm. Doctor Wong. Coming together, so he was a doctor at one point. Doctor, are you? I am a doctor. I'm. I'm okay. Thank you. Yes, I am a doctor. <laughs> that voice, though. Okay. Like me? Uh, oh. No, I think you're pretty. But, uh, okay. I'll bet you are pretty. With a heavy foot. Why do you <laughs> like your face? Since Craig stopped visiting me, I don't want to show my ugly face to you. I'll stop talking like that. No, seriously? You're just being polite. <laughs> you don't fool me. She's gone all black metal now? Okay. I just heard it's from the ob observation room. Uh, okay. Where do these big doors lead? Sounds like someone's inside. Richard Bob is giving Ah, uh, we'll get to that character. I wanted to go into the chapel myself, but the doors were stuck. I can't budge him. How did the preacher get inside if the chapel doors are stuck? He must have had help from his little lackey. He was warm. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I am looking forward to talking to this one. Why is that woman licking her lips? I feel very sane in comparison to her. Okay, uh, let's talk about this tree here. What kind of weird trees are these? You can see it has eyeballs. But anyway. Whatever you loon patients. Do you know anything about the other patients? They'd be 
yummy in my tummy. What do you mean by that? Chop them all up, put them in a pot, add some potatoes, and see what you've got. Hey, talk to you later. Bye. Exactly. We're out. <laughs> So they had a hard time getting through this door, right? Oh, those are some big doors. He actually kicks it open. Let's do it. This is where Preacher Bob is. I'm excited for this part. He's one of the best characters in this game. Let's do it. Okay, I was hearing what he says, so it's not playing the chapel music for some reason, so I'm going to save and come back. I really want to hear the music for this, so I'll make a quick cut here. Here we go, the chapel music. I fucking love this track in the whole game. I really do. All right, let's talk to Preacher Bob. He's one of the best characters. Or let's talk to him. All right, let's talk to him. Excuse me, what's your name? I am Saint Norman, disciple of Bob. Disciple of Bob? <laughs> what faith is that? It is the truth. Bob's word is truth. He is the eyes and ears of God. Oh, glorious and most holy of Bob. Bob is the most Bob of all. <laughs> Hallelujah. <Praise laughs> Hallelujah. A uh, sermon. Not the Testament song. This music, I love this freaking track in the whole game. I wish there was an extended version of this. Okay, anyway, let's talk to Preacher Bob. <laughs> okay, let me talk to him. Okay. Hey, Preacher Bob. The sorrowful Norman. Yeah, preacher Bob. Tell me about this sermon, not the song from Testament. <laughs> I always refer to that thrash metal band. You seem to be quite well energetic about the topic of stealing. Why is that? Desecrated? Desecrated? How did they do that? Uh, evil thieves slipped into his great house and performed a terrible deed. Mm. With the devil's hands, they stole the most <laughs> holy of holy things. What has our society come to? When the wretched pawns of Satan feel free to run rampant in Bob's house, can I hear an amen? Amen, preacher. Thank you, Norman. <laughs> What is this symbol? What did this holy symbol look like? Maybe I'll come across it. They stole no less than the sacred cross of the church. <laughs> A golden testament to his good word. Uh, this one. Your parishioners. Parishioners.
I'm okay. <laughs> you say so. So I have to find the holy symbol for him. So, god damn, I love this music. Anyway. Well, the music is glitched again, so I'm going to keep playing this, <laughs> I guess. So I'm going to go to the ob observation room. Blah, blah. We're going to go there. Uh, d dude, get out of my way. <laughs> All right. Click. Oh, gee, I wonder who could that be? Looks like a doctor. What's he writing? Ah, uh, you might be familiar. Hello? You must be Dr. Morgan. There we go. Oh, we thought we'd lost you in the fire, Max. Where have you been? <laughs> Spoilers, he's the antagonist for the whole game. Sorry I had to spoil it. I, I was somewhere else. Safe, Max. But you seem to get into trouble whenever you go away. I've told you before that you need to stay in control if you expect to get well. I didn't just go away in my mind, Dr. Morgan. I was in an actual place, a small town with children. They were real. They. Now, Max, don't get all excited. I can have one of the orderlies. They think I'm a loon. Will it be necessary? No, I'm fine. <laughs> Well, Doctor, but I have so many strange thoughts, unanswered questions. Curiosity is a good thing, Max. I wish I had some answers for you. Perhaps we can talk later, after my work here is done. Fire. What happened? The generator exploded. Too bad about all of those others up there in the tower. You don't want to save so Others? You mean? <laughs> Surprise face. The fire. It wiped out all of the cells in the tower. Everyone inside. You're lucky to be alive. No one seems to be bothered by this. Does anyone know what happened to make the generator explode? We haven't discovered the cause yet, but of course we're concerned about all the patients. Right now we're trying to keep everyone calm and pleasant. We don't want them to dwell on disturbing things, do we? Sure. Notes. What are you writing, Doctor? I'm conducting an experiment. The effects of different types of music on all the patients. I guess that's it. So I knew he's the main antagonist for the whole game, so let's check out this radio that's next to him. A radio? I wonder if I can get any news from the outside world. All right, let's. Active only in newborns, DNAB goes on to deform, cripple, and kill victims within a few years. Okay. Active only in Duke. All right. So, um, I'll go ahead and end this part here. I will make another part, like part six or something. And uh, I just want to introduce these more characters. And then we'll do the actual puzzle in the next video. And uh, my favorite, my my favorite music is still playing because there's a music glitch in this game. <laughs> it won't change music. And uh, <laughs> again, I love. To... Stand here and scratch myself all day. I'd rather you not do that. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Ah, my eye is so freaking itchy. Anyway, I'll go ahead and end this here and continue with part six for you guys. So, subscribe to me if you haven't, click the bell to get notified of my next video, and comment and like about part 5 of Sanitarium. I'm about to end the video, that's what now, um, of part 5, and uh, uh, my eye is quitting. And uh, subscribe, whatever, so I get more views and more subscribers. And I will see you, my best home friends, and my 675 cuties in my next video. See you later.